One chilly winter morning, I planned to meet with a very special person to play golf. The temperature was a little below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, but on the golf course, located on a vast, empty plain, it felt even lower, like it was around freezing. The 102-year-old Zhang Jin Li showed up with his son, wearing simple, comfortable clothing, joining another golfing friend of mine and me on the teeing ground. There were also video and photo crews who would record our round of golf. After warming up, Chong Jin stood on the tee box. Everyone watched his first shot, gasping in surprise. It was the first time any of us had ever seen someone older than 100 in person. So we couldn't help but be excited to witness him coming onto the course and taking his first swing. I wondered what he felt as he saw all of us standing there holding our breath, eyes focused on him. Setting up his shot, Chong Jin looked back at our party and said, You've all come out to watch me, I see. His joke and our laughter released the tension. He adopted a stable setup posture, paused for just a moment and hit his drive. Everyone in our party cheered, good shot, and applauded. He sent the ball flying 140 yards. That distance would have been short for a young golfer, but his swing, with such a stable posture, was miraculous for someone at the age of 102. After everyone hit their tee shots, we were about to pile into the golf carts following the caddy's instructions. But Chong Chin waved us off, saying he would walk. We were all shocked. The frost hadn't yet melted, making the grass rather slippery. I was worried. Chong Chin would be in big trouble if he slipped and fell. The whole party suggested that he take a golf cart, but he refused. I'm happiest when I'm walking on the golf course, he said, taking the lead down the fairway. Why come here if I'm going to ride in a golf cart? Embarrassed and left with no other choice, everyone followed him. Chong Jin's 66-year-old son, who was golfing with us, said he has weak knees and sometimes takes a golf cart when he goes out on the course with his father, who walks 18 holes with ease. While playing around, I even felt short of breath a few times on a somewhat steep uphill slope. Amazingly, Chong Chin showed no signs of struggling. The round of golf, which was initially supposed to go only nine holes in consideration of Chong Jin's age, went all 18 holes. I carefully watched his swing and every move he made throughout the round. Chong Jin's drives ranged from about 140 to 165 yards. He made great approach shots and putts, carefully examining the terrain around the holes and the slope of the greens. On most greens, he never needed more than two putts. His body was neither strong nor flexible compared to those of us in our 50s and 60s who played the round with him, but there was something inexpressible in his swing. Despite the limitations of a body worn out over a century, his swing was smooth, balanced, and beautiful. It suddenly occurred to me, oh, he's doing the most perfect swing he can right now. 